We are very excited. We are all here. As you can see, the control room is uh, buzzing with people. This higher energy uh, will allow us to address the, the many exciting, outstanding questions in particle physics. My area of research is in the search for supersymmetry. These, this is a, a theory which extends the standard model, which is our current best uh, theory of how particles interact at the smallest distances. Um, and it, its main prediction is that we should be able to produce all sorts of new particles at the Large Hadron Collider. At this moment, we've accelerated the beams. We've, we've, um, uh, we're in the process of accelerating them. We're about halfway up. Um, we will then be uh, preparing the physics. What we do for this is we increase the focusing around the detectors. This makes the beam very small at the collision point, then we'll collide them, then we'll declare stable beams, and then uh, hopefully uh, the data taking will start for the LHC. Yeah? And supersymmetry predicts that these particles should be more massive than those of the standard model. So the further we can extend the energy reach of the LHC, the more we can explore the possibilities for these particles. So one of the problems that supersymmetry could resolve is the mystery of dark matter. So this is something where that astronomers and cosmologists tell us that uh, there's an additional source of gravity in the universe which cannot be attributed to things we can see, the stars, the nebulae and other things like that. And so at the moment this has the mysterious name dark matter. Um, I think that's at least partly because we don't really know what it is. Uh, it's quite reasonable to think that it's a particle of a kind that we could potentially produce at the LHC and supersymmetry, or at least some forms of supersymmetry, can, uh, could explain uh, that, that matter and, and uh, predict its properties. Now we are ramping to, towards the C5 TV, then we refill the machine with three bunch against three bunch and we start the ramps. Uh, we will be in uh, 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes to uh, uh, 13 TV and uh, we'll have to squeeze the beam and to prepare after that uh, for stable beam. So the main problem, if you ask most physicists, I, I think, that supersymmetry would explain is the mass of the Higgs boson. With the standard model as it stands, we cannot explain why the Higgs boson has the mass it has. It should be many, many times, many, many times heavier than it actually is. Supersymmetry would provide a very neat solution to that problem, but it remains to be seen whether that's the correct solution or not. And that's why we need to look for it. If we don't find supersymmetry at the LHC, then all's not lost necessarily. There are other theories which could also explain this problem of, of the Higgs boson mass. But theoretically, we have no explanation of what mechanism could stop its mass increasing to exceedingly large values, almost without bound, it seems. And this theoretical problem is the, the primary driver behind uh, thinking that something like supersymmetry should be present there at energies that we can reach at the LHC. So, fantastic achievement. Um, I'm touched. I hope you are also touched. I think we are living through a fantastic moment, a great moment, collisions at 13 TV for physics. It means that we can probe uh, to higher energies to produce higher mass particles and also to shorter distances than we've been able to before. So we're taking a step forward in the uh, sensitivity to possible new physics. We have already taken data while the machine was tuning up the beams, but this is really the time when we start the physics program. 
you can imagine. I mean, this is uh, uh, the reward for years uh, of, of, of hard work. I mean, people have been preparing for this for uh, uh, more than two years. Record all information from the Stargate.